Excellent. In this video, we're going to teach you how to release the pelvis in all these areas, the SI joint, the pubic symphysis here, along with where the lumbar meets the sacrum. This is for those people that have lumbar spinal stenosis, or they may have low back pain. Maybe this feels just right in the SI joint area. But we want to release those joints and then give you a couple exercises to help stabilize and strengthen that area. First exercise just requires that you get a belt. So you bring that belt, you're gonna get on your back, you're gonna take that belt, loop it around your thighs, and go ahead and fasten the belt, light it up, put your feet together. We're gonna to be pressing out with this, we're gonna activate some of the glutes, trying to bring the SI joints together more. You're going to press out, so it's pressing an isometric contraction. You want to brace the abdominals, keep a neutral back, do a good contraction for about 10 seconds, release, do it again, press, 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 going out, really feeling that, and release, press again. You want to repeat that about five times. You may hear a pop and feel something right in this area of the SI. So once you finish about five of those, you want to move right into more of strengthening. Bring your feet out. Keep tension pressing out. You're going to lift your toes up, press your heels into the ground, and you're going to press up and perform a glute bridge. It looks like this, press out, press up into that area. Don't overextend the back, keep the abdominals contracted. Do a good 10 second contraction of the glutes. Come back down, press the heels into the ground. Stand up, press, 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 press. Relax, and again, Good isometric tension throughout that area. Don't let up on it. Relax. You want to repeat that 10 times. Now you can take off that belt. Grab a yoga block or a book. Press, put that in between your legs like this. Bring your feet together. Press firmly, contract the abdominals, press firmly. You're getting the adductors, the way the adductors attach to the pubic bone. You're going to press, 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 press. You might feel a pop right in that pubic bone area. Relax. Do it again. So this is actually strengthening along with mobilizing that joint in the pubic area. Relax. You want to repeat this five times. Contract the abdominals. Press together the knees real firmly. And then press up. Extend up. Press together. You're doing a, a bridge. But you're firing up those adductor muscles now. Press the knees together. Bridge. Good, you want to do about 10 of those. So it'll look like this one in the front, one on top of your knee on the opposite side. You're going to get this motion going like this, but you're going to add resistance in the direction. So if I'm coming up, I'm going to resist coming up. If I'm going down, so it's going to look like this. You're going to press and then keep tension on that throughout the whole area. This, you may feel that SI joint start moving with the SI and the part of the lumbar spine. I'm going to do about five passes that way. So it's under tension. Keep that under tension. Reverse. One hand on top, one underneath. Now, for some reason, if you feel it's hard on your knees, you can bring one under and use 
the back of your leg this way. I just like to do it on top. Under tension. Keep that going. Good. Now, next one, we want to get motion into the spine. We want to do a spinal twist. So you want to get into this sideline posture, the hip flexion at 90 degrees, knees at about 90 degrees, the knees nice and even here. You're going to take your hands, open up the chest, the thoracics opening up, bring your opposite hand, put it on top this leg, then you want to be able to slide just about an inch, not even an inch, this bone here, the leg bone, femur bone, back and forth, not up and down, but along the length of this other leg on the bottom. You go up and down, you want to do, you get this motion, you're going to feel it right in that low back SI lumbar area. You may hear some pops and cracks. You do about 10, reverse, go to the other side. Get it 90 degrees from the hips and the knees. Open up. Start sliding that leg back and forth. So when you do this, the uh, abdominal muscles will be contracting through this, through this whole move. Just applying motion into that area. You might find that one side is tighter than the other, so you may do double the work on the tight side, so it balances better. So we've released the SI joint area, the pubic bone symphysis, along with some of the lumbar area. Now I want to strengthen and stabilize the pelvis with those joints. You want to start off with a stance. A stance is really good for activating that pelvis before you walk. So you get your feet hips width apart. You want your toes lined up with the knees, knees with the hip. You want to screw the feet into the ground. When you do this, it's going to be a torquing motion from the feet. As if you're grabbing the ground and trying to torque out like this. This, but nothing's happening. It's an isometric. So the torque will go all up in the hips. It's firing the glute muscles. You brace abdominals. So the thing that you don't want to do is roll out over your foot. You want to push through the big toe. So you activate it and just activate that. It could be like a 10, 15% contraction. Activate it, activate it, and relax. Do it again. Activate it, activate it, and relax. It's Activating all those muscles for the pelvis to make it more stable before you walk. So you can do that about five times before you go out and walk. Now to strengthen more into that area, it's good to do a lunge. Now lunge more like a split squat. So when you do a split squat, you want to lunge forward. You want to keep the back leg, the knee, straight because you want to put more tension on this hip flexor, then you want to go to your range of motion. You can use a stick, you can use the wall for balance, doesn't matter. Come back up, stand up, and you're going to feel it work through this area of the glute. And you're going to feel it stretch a lot as it's lengthening the front hip flexor, the psoas. You do about 10, reverse, keep the back leg straight. You can get balanced with a stick or whatever, chair, wall. And you go through that motion again, opposite side. Do about 10, really brace abdominals in here. These exercises are a good idea to do every day, especially those people with lumbar spinal stenosis because it will help free up those areas and get you ready for the day, get you ready for your walking, so it can stay freed up and help stabilize and get stronger in those areas.